Well, a couple of hours ago, Iran's foreign ministry released a statement condemning this attack. What's noteworthy is that the Iranian government has yet to point the finger at anyone, has yet to accuse uh, uh, anyone. Uh, uh, many people assume that they would point the finger at Saudi Arabia. This incident happened off the coast of Saudi Arabia, off the uh, coast of Jeddah in the Red Sea. Many assume that Iran would point the finger at Saudi Arabia, just like Saudi Arabia has on numerous occasions pointed pointed the finger at Iran when its tankers had been attacked in the Persian Gulf. That has yet uh, to happen. What we know, according to state media, is that this incident happened uh, at about 5 a.m. local time. State media reporting that this uh, oil tanker was hit by likely two uh, missiles. Uh, state media denying earlier reports that the ship was on fire, uh, adding that the hull of the ship was damaged and all of the crew members uh, are safe. A couple of other interesting points. In its statement today, the foreign ministry saying that there have been other, quote, destructive measures against Iranian tankers in the Red Sea. As far as we know, this is the first time the Iranian government is alleging that other attacks, other incidents targeting its oil tankers have taken place in the Red Sea. No other details beyond that vague statement uh, from the Iranian government. The Iranian foreign ministry also saying whoever did this attack is also responsible for the environmental uh, uh, pollution. Of course, uh, one of the most troubling aspects of this incident is reports that there's an oil spill after this attack. The Red Sea, of course, uh, known for one of the most renowned uh, underwater ecosystems in, in the world with uh, species of fish and coral that are not found anywhere else in the world. Iran's foreign ministry suggesting that this attack has endangered uh, that marine life. And you mentioned there at the beginning, uh, Reza, that there has been no reaction so far from Saudi Arabia. But I wonder um, of possible reaction in the coming days where you are in Tehran. Is an event like this likely to cause alarm there? It's likely. And remember, we've had a lot of these incidents since May, a lot of these tanker incidents. Soon after the U.S. withdrew from the nuclear deal in May, uh, four tankers in the Persian uh, Gulf were uh, attacked. Uh, Iran was blamed for those attacks. Each of these attacks has the potential to escalate tensions. But Iran has made its position clear that they say they want diplomacy. Not only when it comes to the nuclear deal, they want diplomacy with Saudi Arabia. In fact, yesterday, Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif wrote an op-ed in the Financial Times reiterating Iran's call for a regional initiative, including with Saudi Arabia, for these regional countries, regional rivals to sit down and establish uh, a regional plan for security. Uh, will this incident uh, uh, damage that uh, in initiative? Uh, it remains to be seen. But Iran's position is, despite these incidents, they want to talk to their regional rivals, including Saudi Arabia. All right, Reza Sire, live for us uh, in Tehran. Thank you uh, very much for bringing us up to speed.